Plastic is a cheap yet durable polymer that has occupied almost every field of life, whether in packaging, storing, or even manufacturing different daily use items. The world is populating day by day, and this increasing population has also increased the use of plastics, and it also has a dark side that plastics cannot be recycled within a short period. It takes hundreds of years to break down, while the production of plastics is more than 350 million tons every year. So in these conditions, it is more convenient to use new resources rather than recycle the old ones. But due to the alarming situation of pollution caused by this plastic waste on the planet Earth, scientists are working on making such microorganisms that could yield in degrading the plastics. Today in this video, we will tell you about how plastic is causing harm to living creatures and what advancements have been made in this field regarding its degradation. Plastic is widely used in making the packaging of beverages, chips, and many other products. These plastic bottles, used to store carbonated drinks, have polyethylene terephthalate PET, in their composition because this polymer can sustain pressure. These PET plastics approximately make up about one-sixth of the total plastic production, but the irony is, after use, this plastic is not recycled correctly. Only half of it is collected for recycling, while the other is dumped or thrown directly by the consumers. Common methods used to get rid of plastic are burning them or throwing them in landfills, which are also not a permanent solution. Burning plastics is costly, as it consumes loads of energy. Moreover, it releases poisonous gases into the atmosphere, which causes great harm to the planet Earth and the creatures over it. Biological resources to decompose plastics takes less energy, so the scientists are working on making some enzymes and bacteria that could help them degrade the plastics. This research has advanced over the past 15 years, but still, they failed to find something that could work under ambient conditions to lessen the plastics. Back in 2016, researchers discovered a plastic-eating bug at a plastic dump site in Japan. And in 2018, another enzyme was discovered, but that was not as effective because reaction time was slow. Prof. John from the University of Portsmouth, UK, combined both enzymes found and created a super enzyme that eats plastic and converts it into carbon dioxide. He said we saw a dramatic increase in the degradation activity when we linked the enzymes together. He added that learning from nature and bringing the techniques into the lab will also help get new changes in the industrial field. A French company, Cabrios, also discovered an enzyme in the heaps of leaves that degraded plastic. Still, it had a significant drawback that it was functional only at high temperatures. Professor McGeehan, who was also on the team of scientists at the University of Portsmouth, said that by combining two different enzymes to enhance their ability and then providing them to the companies like Cabrios, they would be able to use them commercially within a year or two. Back in 2018, the researchers found out that the enzyme petase attacked directly on the crystalline surfaces of plastic bottles, and when combined with the enzyme found in Japanese plastic-eating bugs, it doubles the speed of breakdown of the chemical compounds present in plastics. So they made their mutant version and tried to degrade the plastics and named it Fast Petase. That version turned out to be 20% more effective than the previous one, and it was functional at 50 degrees Celsius. Professor Alper, who was leading this research, said that recycling all plastics that we use to dump in bins is the major challenge that needs a permanent solution. He also added that while working on fast pet aids, they used machine learning techniques to change the active sites of the enzymes to make them more effective. He explained that the algorithm of this technique helped suggest new enzymes if any of the previous ones were not working, and they experimented with 290 amino acids in this way. He said that it was also helpful in balancing the activity and stability of the enzyme. Out of the millions of possible combinations, they found only three compelling when combined with the petase, and their durability was checked in the laboratory. They used it on the entire plastic tray and found out that it was entirely degraded within 48 hours. And they used those monomers to form new plastic items. 
Polyethylene terephthalate, PET, present in plastic bottles, constitutes 12% of the total waste globally, so their main focus was to eliminate that. The enzyme fast PETase works cyclically in a way that it breaks down plastic to its smaller parts and then also aids in combining those parts to form long-chain polymers. And it takes mere 24 hours to break down plastic. This discovery covers a vast field, including chemical engineering, synthetic biology, and artificial intelligence. This fast PETase enzyme will also help degrade synthetic fibers that are difficult to degrade by muting it with the cotton degrading enzymes. Scientists said that this step would also help check the effectiveness of their discovery. Researchers from the University of Portsmouth, UK, said it is not the end of their discovery. They are still working on several hundred enzymes in the laboratories to find one mutant that could work even faster. They add that their success could help combat world pollution as they are working on producing the enzyme for use at the industrial and environmental levels. That will help clean the dumped site and make them greener. They established a research center in the university for this purpose. Professor Alper from the Research Institute said that when your focus is to clean your environment, you should develop an idea applicable to normal environmental conditions. Hence, our research is fruitful in this way. Polyurethane is also widely used material but rarely recycled because it releases toxic components during breakdown. Researchers have also found a bug that eats this polymer and this tiny creature uses that harmful component to gain energy for the process to carry on. Only 10% of used plastic is recycled globally. 150 million tons are dumped directly into the landfills, and 8 million tons are thrown in rivers and ultimately moved to the oceans. It blocks the systems of aquatic animals when ingested unintentionally. Even in oceans, it does not degrade, but gets converted into microparticles, and these particles are then found in water, aquatic life, and even sometimes in humans. Plastic waste has increased so much that it will take a minimum of 450 years to decompose all of that. So it's the need of the hour to find such methods that could aid in recycling and our scientists are making progress in this field. Within few years, these enzymes will be commercially available to deal with these plastic landfills. That's all for today's video. We'll come with the more exciting content soon. If you enjoy watching our video, make sure to hit that like button at the left and subscribe to the channel so you never miss any new update.